So my next question to you is, what hormone taken daily is the cheapest and easiest intervention in medicine that would save the most lives and save the most clinical dollars as a society? And of course the answer is vitamin D. Uh, specifically vitamin D3 prevents 17 varieties of cancer, prevents heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, autoimmune disorders. There's a lot of research showing how vitamin D can affect and prevent MS. Uh, it's linked to diabetes, both type one and type two. Uh, it can also prevent depression, chronic pain syndromes, osteoarthritis, uh, also osteopenia, uh, periodontal disease, childhood bone health, uh, of course, growth factors in children. It can also prevent flu and infectious disease, osteoporosis, muscle weakness. Every cell in the body has a vitamin D receptor. And uh, clinically, we're finding vitamin D to be so important, uh, we're now including it in many of our uh, just standard blood tests, routine blood tests to see what people's levels are because uh, vitamin D is so important in, on various levels. So there's a lot of debate on this question. Uh, extreme care should be taken to avoid vitamin D toxicity. So what, what is vitamin D toxicity? Is there an upper limit and where is that? And um, it used to be common knowledge that vitamin D taken, you know, 400 units a day is all you need. And uh, that's basically it. So don't take any more than that because it, it can accumulate in your liver and be toxic. Um, so uh, finally, a um, a research article that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2007 um, and studied uh, vitamin D was studied by the Food and Nutrition Board and they recommended an upper limit of 2,000 units um, which actually turns out to be very restrictive. Um, the study uh, when you look at the details, they actually found no toxicity above 30,000 units a day and, and no toxicity for blood levels um, under 200 nanograms per mil. So when you go to your physician and, and get your blood tested and they find uh, your vitamin D levels, um, typically they'll try to promote that um, to a optimal level and say not go over 100. But there's actually no toxicity uh, as long as your uh, blood levels stay under 200 nanograms. Um, the, the study recommends 10,000 units a day as an upper limit, but for safety reasons, they ended up um, uh, uh, suggesting that 2,000 would be a, a safer and uh, this is one of the common problems with uh, the medical profession is they, they don't change very quickly despite the evidence. 